your muscles and bones reduce risk of chronic disease it can help skin skin health help your brain health and memory and makes you more happier and organized life so you have wake up in the early morning you did some exercise the next third thing Breathing. An exercise giving your body a good thing and breathe is giving to your brain and the internal processing systems. Relieves emotional problems. The person who is having 15 minutes breath exercise daily is a cool person. He can control his emotions. Release tensions, of course, and detoxifies and relieves toxins. Elevates moods. Yes, can control the moves. Makes you more happier. I am adding this point with everything. So you wake up in the early morning, you have little exercise and you do some breathing. And the fourth thing? Yeah, drink more water. Daily 10 or 12 glasses of water. And it, it is good if it is warm, it is warm. Reduce the risk of kidney stones. Flush out toxins, improve your compression, as of course, we all need it. Boost immune system and makes us more happier and organize our life. So I'm repeating again my points. We wake up early, we do exercise, we did the breathing, breathing exercise, and we should have more water in our daily life. And healthy eating. Add more vegetables, avoid weight like uh, salt, sugar, include more browns like you say meat and all. Eat more green than the meat, meats, vegetables. Avoid junk food and cokes, include fruits, nuts, berries, etc. and which makes you more happier. And the sixth, yeah, sleep well. He wants to wake up early, so for that what we need to do? We need to sleep early. So 7 to 8 hours sleep daily. It is important. Improve memory and live longer. Sharpen our memory also. Makes, makes more happier. So, and 7. This is our do extra activities, of course. Which makes our life more lively and give a productive break from our work and daily routine, <coughs> provide social opportunities and it's more fun and our life is organized, which makes us more happier. Yeah, it was most Come close master and attend the meeting regularly. And the last one, eight points, prayers. Of course we all have different beliefs, so don't Keep your prayers. The increased mental strength makes you more stronger. Release stress, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual healings, and makes us more strong. So I'm gonna repeat once more. So we all gonna wake up early morning tomorrow. We gonna do little exercise, at least 20 minutes in a day, and 10 to 15 minutes breathing exercise. And the fourth one, drink more water. Drink more water. And fifth, healthy food. Yes. And the seventh, do extra activities, sleep early, and prayers. And all you. Thank you, Tushmaster C, for the healthy tips. For point two and three, I do yoga, <laughs> which includes breathing exercise. And I do agree because scientifically they found that you need minimum of seven to eight hours of sleep. Uh, there is no more like less than seven to eight hours. If you don't have the seven to eight hours, the body does not have enough time to recuperate, does not have enough rest and these two complications, stress and all that, I think it's been improved. I think all the points are very relevant and including the drinking water, especially in the UAE. So I will keep this as a as my uh, as my diaries so that I can 
most of that I follow. So I think that's the reason I still am happy. <laughs> and uh, thank you to Professor Rashid for that wonderful tips on him. Uh, now I would like to have, hear the, the report from the timer. I hope all are qualified. Mm -hmm. Here is the timing report for the prepared speeches. First speaker was Postmaster Vengadesh. He took 6 minutes and 29 seconds. Second speaker was Postmaster Ashraf. He took 6 minutes and 14 seconds. Third speaker was Postmaster Vivek Ayyapta. He took 9 minutes and 25 seconds. And the fourth speaker was Postmaster Rashid. He took 7 minutes and 17 seconds. So, Toastmaster Vivek is disqualified from voting. Other three are on here. Thank you. Can we count the technical disruption? <laughs> yes, it is counted. <laughs> yeah. I think there was some technical disruption. But anyway, on the project screen, I can't speak there is no voting. No voting. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Sonavas, for the very accurate report on the timing. Now, for voting for the guest speaker, should be one and now, uh, I would like to go back on the theme. Here yeah, I would like to say, share another story. But it's not a video, it's just uh, what I have experienced. How people with power can change things. This is a story from Nepal. There was a time when there was a very big revolution when the, the monarchy was overthrown by the Democrat parties. And there was a time of virtual anarchy because there was no uh, recognized government. And that was the time when people took maximum advantage of approaching on land, property, and all this. I remember in the Valley of Kathmandu, which was the capital city of Nepal, the there was so much of encroachment on the food path. There were shops coming everywhere. There was no place to walk. There was to be traffic jam everywhere. It was complete chaos. Then they elected one young mayor. His name was Kesab Stafi, he was a very young person. He literally, on his own, changed everything. He brought in a lot of rules and regulations. He moved all the people who had enclosed on food paths. He widened the roads. And it was kind of a miracle. He made the whole capital city so organized that in spite of all the challenges he faced because of the monarchy, there was actually no rule regulation, there was no government act. So he was defeated, you know, he was called as a chief guest one day by one of the clubs where I was also a member. And when people asked him, how did you manage to do all this in spite of such big challenges from, from people? Because there was total anarchy, there was no rule regulation, People did whatever they want, there was no rule of law, no police, you know. But he managed to do it. And he just said one simple word. He said, will power. If you have the will power, you can make things happen. And then you get support from people also. But there's always people who are who have good, you know, what do you call it, uh, good intentions. There are always people who want to support somebody who bring something good. So by having that will power, he managed to change the whole scenario of the valley. And this was one very good example. So I, I really believe in that saying that when there is a will, there is a way. And I think all of us do believe in that. Don't we? Yes. Don't we? I think we should say with more verb and energy than we do believe in. <laughs> okay. So, uh, while we're going through the voting, now we come to the most interesting part of the agenda today's table topics. And I would like to do, oh sorry, sorry, I will be come to evaluation. Now for Toastmaster Bengkatesh, we have Toastmaster Alman Mankandan. Uh, I would like to ask, request the timer to please give the timing rules for the evaluation. Good evening again. The timing rules for evaluation. The time allocated for the evaluation is 2 to 3 minutes. Green light will be on at 2 minutes, orange light will be on at 2 minutes 30 seconds and the red light will be on at 3 minutes and it will be remain on until the speaker finishes his speech.
this evaluation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sarawaj. May I invite Mr. Master Arun Manikandran to come and see the evaluation of Mr. Master Bekash. Good evening, fellow Osmosis and guests. How are you? First of all, uh, we give a round of applause to when we raise our hands. This is the first of all. Congratulations, Osmosis and guests. You deliver a good speech today. You finish your project number one icebreaker very successfully, and it was a good opening. And you get the audience attention first. Then you explain your life like three stages, uh, the young and uh, your education and your family and work. It was very good. And your voice modulation was very good. And proper and good ending your speech. One of the best things I noticed, uh, mostly in the first speech, everyone will uh, use more clutch words. Uh, uh, minimum we can expect 10 or 15 hours because of the first speech. But I noted you only two times you use that clutch word, uh, and there is only one time you repeated the word. And there is some points you have to improve. The first thing is body language. It's, I noticed it most of the time you just holding the here and just using your finger here. I know maybe you are a little bit afraid, but avoid that things. And the next thing is a body language. You can uh, use the body and hand more. And next thing, the eye movement. Now most of the time you look at only this side. You can use from here and and only you look at this side at the top. The stage movement. The stage movement, uh, you just turn here only. You can use the stage movement when you explain your life in three. You can use one from here and one here. At least you can move three movements in, in the stage. And it was a good, good ending. If considering it's a first speech, it was a very nice and good speech. I think these points will be help you to improve your uh, future projects. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Master. Uh, now, for the evaluation of Mr. Master staff, I invite Mr. Master Spanakade to speak to you. Like eye contact, you have to have 
you should have the, as Arunam Kendam was telling, stage movement. These are all in the future projects you have to tell. So I will narrate what you have started. The body where language, everything uh, was good. But in the, uh, you are clasping the hand. In Toastmasters, some good orators also they clasp their hand. But in Toastmasters, they say it is a, uh, shows a nervousness. So better keep your hand uh, free and use your hand for your body uh, gestures. And uh, we don't have mic, so uh, if you can uh, increase your uh, voice, the last row who is sitting, they can hear properly. So this is a drawback of the club, we don't have the mic. But uh, considering that, you should increase your voice pitch. Other things like um, stage usage, these, these things in the next project you have to do, body language also in the next project. And what I suggest, you should uh, select a good mentor. At the future projects, you will go with the mentor and uh, deliver his, your speech before delivering here in front of you. And so that he will define your speeches. Otherwise, overall, it was an excellent speech for the best for you. Now, time you can cut it again. Yeah, no, zero. Please. I'm going to yell at you. Now, Vivek is uh, his, uh, advanced speech. And it is the main objective of the speech was uh, resources for informing. So, when you use resources for informing, means when the audience are there, you should study the audience level of knowledge and audience interest. These things you study before delivering the speech. Then only you can get across the attention of the audience. And we do aspects he very well executed. First thing is the selection of the subject. It was very obvious. Everybody was curious. If everybody, okay, everybody knows partly about artificial intelligence, and everybody wanted to know more about it. That's what he did. And again, creating the audience attention, he started the speech with his self-experience. And it's like in a a uh, horror movie, how does the phone bell rings and he gets up and he, these things he started created aware and this thing grasped the attention of the audience and the audience were very curious to know what is happening on the next day. Then he said how artificial intelligence helped him. So then he went for the visual aid. The visual aid is one uh, thing you can know. Most of the things in the pictures you can, pictures will say many things. The pictures he can show, he showed, and many of us, which we have art knowledge, and uh, he made us to know more about artificial intelligence. And I believe everybody have enjoyed this slide show. And in between uh, the improvement slide show, you should uh, practice it before coming to the stage. Otherwise, your time will be running out. And this is the problem with the presentation. When the uh, equipment gives a error, then you should be able to continue without wasting time. Uh, overall, this week's objective is met, and uh, everybody was very curious about the understanding and the knowing this one. And it was an uh, uh, awareness session for us to know the artificial intelligence. And uh, I appreciate this uh, uh, selection of subject. Uh, and, uh, but all these you have to think. Well, the, for the next, anyway, you are in the advanced speech, so I have to give some improvement point because every speech there is a room for improvement. One is again, uh, we can excuse the uh, ice breaker plastic the hand, but not the advanced speaker. <laughs> and uh, voice modulation, you could have used your voice modulation to, your voice was very nice and everybody was able to hear, but some areas you could have used the voice modulation. And the state usage, as Arumant Kettan was telling, that for every thing you can use the state in different areas so that you can merit one part to this one and one part to this uh, left side of the audience. Uh, otherwise, overall, it was very really excellent. I wish you all the best in your future projects. Thank you. Thank you. May I request Toastmaster Sanavaj, please give the... One more. One more. One more. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm going too fast. Uh, now, to evaluate Toastmaster Asit's speech, uh, may I invite Toastmaster Vivek, I have to kindly give the evaluation.
Winners never quit, and quitters never win. First master of the enemy, Lord of the first master and yes, Babu Devi. Toastmaster Rashid today given his seventh project speech and it is successfully completed. Let us give him a round of applause. <laughs> Toastmaster Rashid was continuously delivering his speech and his art is to complete the CC projects within next two months, I think. So, today's speech, organize your life. The subject was suitable to the speech and his projects, clarity, vocal variety, eye contacts. He is your successful. The gestures, being it is a slice, is only one hand, but he can he managed to that area. Also. His comfort level was very good, and throughout the speech we can see a smile on face that is too very attractive, and it is showing that the confidence in his subjects. However, there are some of the improvement parts we can bring to the evaluation which is well the subject was research or not because the research your speech or object, uh, titles so that one I don't think that much research he has done some of the slides is copied from the internet and he's applied he can improve giving some of the data, maybe years or the percentage of people are drinking water early. So that is the research part he can improve. And okay, this is the only one improvement parts I can suggest. And I wish all the best for your eight projects. How do you? Thank you, Toastmaster Vivek, for the evaluation. Now, uh, finally, we can come to the famous report, Toastmaster Sanabas. Thank you very much. Toastmaster Arun Manikarno, he took 2 minutes and 30 seconds for the evaluation. Toastmaster Rajesh Padigare, for the first evaluation he took 2 minutes and 46 seconds and for the second evaluation he took 2 minutes and 48 seconds. Toastmaster Vivek Ayyapal took 2 minutes and 47 seconds for the evaluation. All are eligible for OT. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Toastmaster Now before we come to the exciting part of the meeting where we have full of work and energy for the table topics. Uh, I would like to make one announcement uh, as a postmaster of the evening. I would like to take advantage of the situation. Thank you. I just like to remind the members that being the treasurer, I think the time has come for the next lot of our membership fees. So please be reminded that uh, we need to uh, come up with a contribution. Uh, this is just one of the reminders of our dear members. Thank you. Uh, now, Toastmaster Nofil, who will be doing the three topics. I think I've already introduced you before, so please can you come and say hello. We don't have time for
delete it once again. Delete it. So as I already explained you about the table topics, it is one of the part portion of the meeting. And if there is no any criteria for the participation, whether it's a existing members or it's a guest, just come up to here and which subject is we are receiving. You have to just think about that 30 second you are timing. After that, you have to present that. For the success of this session, I will be all preparation for that. Okay? So kindly explain the timing group of the topic. Good evening. For the table topics, you have 30 seconds to think about the subject before you start the speech. After you start the speech, so once you start the speech, you will have one to two minutes for the, for completing the speech. At one minute, I will show you the green light. One minute thirty seconds, I will show you the orange light and at uh, 2 minutes I will show you the red light and the red light will be on till you complete the speech. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I think all of you understand about the timing rule as he mentioned that is the rule of the timing. So let's start the question. So I would like to invest those who are the senior members please come forward and show to the especially for the guest how to present the topics. And any senior members, anyone? I think our senior is just Thank 
print the paper here. Paper here. Your subject is what was the last time you felt lucky? Once again, what was the last time you felt lucky? Here. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. When I know about uh, Toastmaster, I Google it and just, I know about I just get the introduction. So I felt that something we have to improve from my side. When I'm during school days also we had a last benches. Whenever there's a speech, something is there, we never come in front. So now we have a chance to improve ourselves, even now in our in our hobbies also. If somebody wants to speak something, I never come in front. So now I feel lucky that we entered in the Toastmaster club. So we improve our self-confidence. Thank you very much. So the who is the next from the guest spot? Come forward. Yeah. Come forward. For the guest who is coming on this one, I will give her a name. So when we are small. Used to, the teacher used to tell us to write essay, you may be having remembering that. So, we used to study about a cow, thinking that in the exam cow will come for the essay. So, uh, actually what I consider, uh, actually we study for the coconut tree, and we get the essay for the cow. <laughs> so, we studied everything on coconut tree, then how to write this one. Then what we, we used to start, at home we have a cow. <laughs> that cow we tie to our coconut tree. <laughs> then we write about the coconut tree. <laughs> so you'll get the mark because you are building the paper. Okay, uh, so that, uh, this thing also, if you are not very really confident about the topic, don't worry about the starting. You start with the topic, then whatever you know, you write. Yeah. Finish that one minute till you wait for the green light. Then you are going to go. The subject is when was the last time you lost your temper and why? <laughs> when was the last time you lost your temper and why? Your subject is what do you love to 
practice. What do you love to practice? Timing again. Uh, the timing 
for table topics was uh, like this. Uh, Toastmaster Ramraj, he took 1 minutes and 52 seconds. Toastmaster Prakash took 35 seconds. Toastmaster Gopinath took 49 seconds. Toastmaster Anand took 1 minute and 5 seconds. And Toastmaster Venkatesh took 1 minute 51 seconds. So, Toastmaster Ramraj, Toastmaster Anand, and Toastmaster Venkatesh are eligible for voting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sanaj, for the excellent timing. Uh, now we move on to the report part. I'd like to invite uh, Toastmaster Ramraj to give the report to the board master. Can you please come and see? Once again, good evening. Good evening. Word masters. The word verb was used by our veteran Toastmaster Purin Roy at least three, four times. And I was supposed to use it. Anyway, now I can use it now. So Toastmaster, you can improve your verb. You can be an orator, a competent communicator, a competent leader. This is a good work. And Toastmaster Nazish also used words regarding the grammarian. So, for, um, so many of us use uh, when speaking, say the word okay. Like I have used myself three times. And Mr. Toastmaster Punarra used one time. No father used one time. This is about the word masters as well as the grammarian before. What is Thank you, Master Ramra, for wearing two hats today. Now, the report from those Master Arun Manikandan as the R counter. How many of us use the filler words? How often? Good evening, Toastmaster and guest. Hear your report. Our uh, uh, Toastmaster of the evening, Toastmaster Puran Roy, he used a uh, uh, five times. And uh, there is two words you repeated. It was there will be and the word. And those process shana was he used a uh, two times. And there is no repeated word. And our senior those process ramblers uh, he used a uh, one time. And there is uh, two repeated word. It's one word is and one each and everything. And those process languages uh, used a uh, uh, two times. And the two words you repeated, one it's after my and go for. And those process Ashram use a five times and mm, two times. And our uh, president those process Vivek even use a uh, uh, one time. And those process Pratas use a uh, one time. And Toastmaster Gobina use R two times. And Toastmaster Anand use two times. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Anand. I'm scaling the remark upon myself. So it shows that it's very detailed and very sharp here. Now, we come to guest impression. I'd like to hear from our guests at the meeting today, what was the impression of the meeting, how was it, whether they liked it, and whether they would like to come again again. So I'd like to start from the guests here. Maybe you can. Yeah, you can. Maybe you can come there. Please tell us how you felt about the meeting. Once again, good I felt fast. Uh, I will continue and I will improve myself. So that's my. Thank you. Can I invite the guest, please? Yes, 
удобно.
they have kept everything in, in place for the meeting, arranged everything like they have put the world most of the boards on the stick already on the walls. And we have the first master banner, and we have the dais. Everything is set in time, even, even the timer, some timing device also kept in place. So everything was set in time, and first master Shanavas has opened the meeting by giving the mission and vision of the first master. And because the toast masters to keep the um, mobile phone on silent mode, and they give a round of applause to toast master Next up, President, he has given a, an opening speech, giving eight secrets, highlighting successful people in the world, and a positive note and informed about the. The programs. The good, good thing about the president is that he get a chance to talk always like certain terms. He always comes with a quote. He has today's the eight points, secret points, which have already inspired us. So give a big round of applause for the president of Australia, Vivek And. The next role player of today's meeting is timer. Coming to the timer, it's, it's a very difficult job like you have to be attentive, you have to keep the timings of each speech, evaluation and even the table topics. Speaker, whoever comes here and he has specified the timing rules for each and every like uh, speeches, evaluators and table topics. And he has done his job very nicely. Give a big round of applause. He has taken because of the less attendance. Most of our Toastmasters, senior Toastmasters, they have taken um, multiple uh, the roles. And give applause to all the Toastmasters who have taken multiple roles today. So it's word master, I take in the word master. I explained about the word master, how many persons are, how many Toastmasters have used the words. It's not a very difficult word, but we can practice in due course of time to use the same word, but that's about the word. And coming to the grammarian, Toastmaster Arkhounder, so Arkhounder, Toastmaster Manigandan was a generous today to note down the errors of all the road players. And, and I think it's not much as normally we used to have the noting down the grammarian or archander points. And I will come back to the Toastmaster of the Union later. Before that, we had speeches. We had four, we had four speeches today, which has been evaluated by the senior Toastmasters. And one thing about the role players, those who are coming here and taking out different roles, one thing we need not thank to the audience, because in fact, in fact, we or the audience should thank to the road players who is taking the roles here. So we need not thank every time. It is only greeting the coming to the dais, greet, do the greeting, and finally before leaving, just greet to greet the Toastmaster team. That's all. So that is the normal practice, normal practice in the Toastmastering. We never do thank uh, do the uh, do thanking to the audience. And as explained by our senior Toastmaster Rajesh, of course, always it's better to take the advice from the mentors. We have a lot of senior Toastmasters here in our group. We can see the names, what is there. Maybe the Toastmasters who are here, they know the complaint from all the Toastmasters, senior Toastmasters here. For taking up the next future projects, I mean, sorry, future uh, projects, you can take the help of mentors and we will practice like five to seven minutes. We can talk up our phone about the Taking up, uh, uh, taking up the topic itself is very important for it because it all depends, it goes with the objective like The objective first is selecting a topic, then we have body language and voice modulation, presentation like various various, uh, like all the 10 projects in Toastmaster has put different objectives. So you can take, whenever you go further and up for the advanced features from 1 to 10 and different objectives are there, you can take the help of those and mentors to do the projects. Otherwise, every, every Toastmaster has done very well in their speeches. <coughs> and coming to the table.
labor topic master, today toast master, now, now for very interesting topics and today's work, today's uh, whatever is common, what is, what is there, and good selection of topics for impromptu speaking. And altogether it is a leading ex practice for all the Toastmasters and well as conducted with the allotted time. Normally we used to have 10 to 15 minutes. He has taken exactly 10 minutes to take up these four topics. I think he had five topics today, right? Well done Toastmaster uh, Nofan. Um, give a big round of applause. <laughs> to the captain of the ship today, Toastmaster Varun Rai. He has taken the, the meeting in Exactly two hours means we are just finishing exactly two hours. He has brought the, he has taken up that has noted the timings for each other thing, how much it's going to take. And he has taken a very good theme to today's the one that the where there's a will, there is a way. Even Cosmosing also. You want you can if you want really want to improve your communication and competent leadership skills. This is the place, this is the platform for all of you to learn. So if there is an, an addition to that, if there is a will, okay, there is a way. So it's a way. So take it as a platform for you, for every person. Even now, it's learning is an experience. Learning is growth. It never ends actually. So Toastmaster Perunroy has given a very good example of how an old person he has done a job with his four or five blind children. <clears throat> How he has done this, where there's a, there's a will, I mean there's a way, there's a will. There's a will, there's a way. So he deserves a very good round of applause. With this, we, I hope that you all enjoyed the meeting. So we will have the coming um, meetings, we will have a much better meeting, and we have two senior Toastmasters will give different projects. So we'll really enjoy. And we'll do ourselves the best. Thank you, Toastmaster. May I call upon our president? The next meeting is at DPE. Let's not do the same thing. So, now we need two players for the next meeting. Uh, Start from any speeches. Anybody wants to speak? Okay. Yes, Medium Corona is going to be next Monday. Yeah. Mm. Coming Monday? No. Coming Monday? No. Monday. no. no. <laughs> 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 President Martin is coming Monday. After two weeks, okay. Yes. So, Postmaster Arun, this is speech number three. Project three. Anybody? <coughs> I don't know. This is the project eight. Must be big. Yeah. Must be advanced, right? <coughs> I'll also do. It's been a long time. I haven't done. <laughs> Anybody for speeches? Anybody? So let's go to the home. Yeah. I think now we go to uh, general director. Toastmaster in the evening. Go to TME again. TME. Oh, he's doing speeches. Speeches. You got it? Toastmaster Novel? You haven't done until now. I am planning to write a speech. I am planning to write a speech. Two or three more days. Other station. Other station. Whatever is it? Yes, most of them. Yes, most of them. Yes, most of them. Yes, most of them. Oh, we wait for the other members. No, we have to say. Not that many, yeah. Yeah, from this one. So, uh, maybe other people will not come for holidays. TME, 